Okay, for Japan, turn one, they have 26 IPCs to spend. They're going to spend four IPCs advancing their technology, 14 IPCs uh, on two transports, and eight IPCs on two artillery. Uh, they will be declaring four attacks, all against mainland China. Uh, they're not declaring war on any other allies. Uh, so they're going to come into Kuang si, er, from Kuang Si. Three infantry and one artillery are going to go into Yunnan. That attack will be supported with the fighter and the tactical bomber from Kiangsu and an airborne attack uh, with four infantry from Japan uh, on the two strategic bombers, which will be uh, used as transport planes. Um, Hunan will be attacked with three infantry from Kiangxi and two uh, fighters and two tactical bombers from uh, Manchuria. Um, that attack will also be supported by the fighter from Taiwan. Uh, there will be some walk-ins. Uh, two infantry from Kiangxi and three infantry and an artillery from Shantung will go into Anhui. Uh, Shahar will be attacked with two infantry, one artillery from Jehol and the mechanized infantry from Manchuria. Uh, so that's all the attacks. So we only have to roll two battles, so we'll get right to that. In the battle for Hunan, Japan's coming in with three infantry at one, two fighters at three, and two tactical bombers at four. Three hits, they only needed two, so they have won the battle. China defends and misses with both defense rolls. So Japan takes the territory with no casualties. Here for the attack on Yunnan. The Japanese are coming in with four paratroops at one, two infantry at one, one infantry supported by an artillery, so that's two crews, a fighter, and a tactical bomb. Two hits. Two hits, so the battle's over. Let's see what the Chinese defense is. Two hits. Okay, so the Japanese will lose two more infantry. So at a cost of three infantry, they do take the territory. For non-combat, uh, all of the planes that were involved in the Yunnan attack, so two transport planes, a uh, fighter and attack bomber, are going to land in Kuang Si. Uh, uh, three fighters and two attack bombers from Yunnan are going to land in Kuang Si. Um, the fighter from uh, Okinawa is going to land in Kuang Si. The Two fighters and two tactical bombers from Japan are going to land in Kuangxi. Uh, and then we're going to move um, some navy around and, and other things. Uh, so the infantry and artillery from Kiangsu are going to move south into Kiangxi. The artillery in Kiangxi is going to load onto this transport. And this transport and this, uh, this cruiser uh, are going to go to uh, Palau. Okay, one, two to Palau. Um, in the north here, uh, five infantry and uh, an enemy aircraft are going to move into Jehol from Manchuria. Uh, one artillery from Manchuria is going to get loaded onto this transport. The infantry from Okinawa is going to get loaded onto this transport. And we're going to move um, all of the naval forces in Sea Zone 19 uh, to Palau, uh, Sea Zone 34 over here. Um, in addition, the f I think I said the, f the fighter from Okinawa is going to end up in Kuang Si. Um, I think I already mentioned that the two fighters and two tack bombers from Japan are going to go to Kuang Si as well. Uh, two infantry and one fighter from Korea are going to move into Manchuria. Uh, and then finally, um, one 
artillery is going to move on to a transport here, and then the sub, one destroyer, the battleship, and the cruiser, along with the transport, are going to move uh, down to Sea Zone 33 and be in the Caroline Islands. And the one of the two carriers is going to move into oops, Sea Zone uh, 34, which is uh, around Palau. So there will be two naval contingents in Sea Zones 34 and 33, um, with a bunch of transports there threatening um, well, threatening a number of areas, actually, because the Carolines uh, can project power in a lot of different directions. Uh, okay, so I'll tidy up the board, and I'll come back with um, uh, placement and money. Okay, in terms of placement of new units, the two new artillery, of course, are going to go in Japan, because they still only have the one factory, which is probably something they're going to fix next turn. And then the two new... Transports will go in season six. Um, in terms of income, uh, they're going to pick up one, two, three, four uh, IPCs from the Chinese. So on the income tracker, they're going to go from 26 to 30, and China will go down from 12 to 8. So that means an income of 30 IPCs base. They have a 10 IPC bonus for not being at war with the Americans or the British or the Commonwealth or the French. So uh, who's up next? Oh, the Americans and the Chinese will be up next. So obviously the Americans are not at war, but China may elect to strike back at... Um, the Japanese in, uh, in various uh, areas of their territory. So see you in the next video, US and China.